the ancient word series the Gospel of the Holy Twelve. Chapters 1 and 2. Chapter 1. The Parentage and Conception of John the Baptist. There was in the days of Herod, the king of Judea, a certain priest named Zacharias, of the course of Abia, and his wife was of the daughters of Aaron, and her name was Elizabeth. And they were both righteous before God, walking in all the commandments and ordinances of the Lord blameless. And they had no child, because that Elizabeth was barren, and they both were now well stricken in years. And it came to pass, that while he executed the priest's office before God in the order of his course, according to the custom of the priest's office, his lot was to burn incense, when he went into the temple Yehowah and the whole multitude of the people were praying without at the time of the offering of incense. And there appeared unto him an angel of the Lord standing over the altar of incense. And when Zacharias saw, he was troubled, and fear fell upon him. But the angel said unto him, Fear not, Zacharias, for thy prayer is heard, and thy wife Elizabeth, shall bear thee a son, and thou shalt call his name John. And thou shalt, have joy and gladness, and many shall rejoice at his birth, for he shall be great in the sight of the Lord, and shall neither eat flesh meats, nor drink strong drink, and he shall be filled with the Holy Spirit, even from his mother's womb. And many of the children of Israel shall he turn to the Lord their God, and he shall go before him in the spirit and power of Elias, to turn the hearts of the fathers to the children, and the disobedient to the wisdom of the just, to make ready a people prepared for the Lord. And Zacharias said unto the angel, Whereby shall I know this, for I am an old man, and my wife is well stricken in years. And the angel answering said unto him, I am Gabriel, that stand in the presence of God, and am sent to speak unto thee, and to announce unto thee these glad tidings. And, behold, thou art dumb, and not able to speak, until the day, that these things shall be performed, then shall thy tongue be loosed, that thou mayest believe my words which shall be fulfilled in their season. And the people waited for Zacharias, and marveled that he tarried so long in the temple. And when he came out, he could not speak unto them, and they perceived, that he had seen a vision in the temple, for he made signs unto them, and remained speechless. And it came to pass, that, as soon as the days of his ministration were accomplished, he departed to his own house. And after those days, his wife Elizabeth, conceived, and hid herself five months, saying, Thus hath the Lord dealt with me in the days wherein he looked on me to take away my reproach among men. Chapter 1.1 The opening paragraph of this gospel was evidently before the eyes, or in the mind of St. Paul, when he wrote Romans 1-4. See Luke 1, 5 This is only one of several instances where this gospel, or the words of Yeshua recorded in it, are used subsequently, without specially indicating the fact as shown further on, being well known to his hearers at that time. Chapter 2 the Immaculate Conception of Yeshu, the Christ. And in the sixth month the angel Gabriel was sent from God, unto a city of Galilee, named Nazareth, to a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph, of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. Now Joseph was a just and rational man, and he was skilled in all manner of work in wood and in stone. And Mary was a tender and discerning soul, and she wrought veils for the temple. And they were both pure before God, and of them both was born Yeshu Maria who is called the Christ. And the angel came in unto her and said, Hail, Mary, thou that art highly favoured, for the mother of God is with thee blessed art thou among women, and blessed be the fruit of thy womb. And when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying, and cast in her mind what manner of salutation this should be. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary. For thou hast found favour with God, and, behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb, and bring forth a child, and he shall be great, and shalt be called the Son of the Highest. And the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father David, and he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there shall be no end. Then said Mary unto the angel, How shall this be, seeing I know not a man? 
And the angel answered, and said unto her, The Holy Spirit shall come upon Joseph thy spouse, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee, O Mary. Therefore also that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Christ, the child of God, and his name on earth, shalt be called Yeshu Maria, for he shall save the people from their sins, whosoever shall repent and obey his law. Therefore ye shall eat no flesh, nor drink strong drink, for the child shall be consecrated unto God from its mother's womb, and neither flesh nor strong drink shall he take, nor shall raise it touch his head. And, behold, thy cousin Elizabeth, she hath also conceived a son in her old age, and this is the sixth month with her, who was called barren. For with God no thing shall be impossible. And Mary said, Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it unto me according to thy word. And the angel departed from her. And in the same day the angel Gabriel appeared unto Joseph in a dream, and said unto him, Gael, Joseph, thou that art highly favoured, for the fatherhood of God is with thee. Blessed art thou among men, and blessed be the fruit of thy loins. And as Joseph thought upon these words he was troubled, and the angel of the Lord said unto him, Fear not, Joseph, thou son of David, for thou hast found favour with God, and behold thou shalt beget a child, and thou shalt call his name Yeshu Maria, for he shall save his people from their sins. Now all this was done that it might be fulfilled which was written in the prophets, saying, Behold a maiden shall conceive, and be with child, and shall bring forth a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted as, God within us. Then Joseph being raised from sleep did as the angel had bidden him, and went in unto Mary, his espoused bride, and she conceived in her womb the Holy One. And Mary arose in those days, and went into the hill country with haste, into a city of Judea, and entered into the house of Zacharias, and saluted Elizabeth. And it came to pass, that, when Elizabeth heard the salutation of Mary, the babe leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the power of the Spirit and spake, with a clear voice and said, Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Whence is this to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For, lo, as soon as the voice of thy salutation sounded in my ears, the babe leaped for joy. And blessed is she that believed for there shall be a performance of those things which would hold her from the Holy One. And Mary said, My soul doth magnify thee, the Eternal, and my spirit doth rejoice in God my Saviour. For thou hast regarded the low estate of thy handmaiden. For, behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed. For thou that art mighty hast done to me great things, and holy is thy name. And thy mercy is on them that fear thee from generation to generation. Thou hast showed strength with thy arm, thou hast scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. Thou hast put down the mighty from their seats, and exalted the humble and the meek. Thou hast filled the hungry with good things, and the rich thou dost send empty away. Thou dost help thy servant Israel, in remembrance of thy mercy as thou spakest to our ancestors to Abraham, and to his seed forever. And Mary abode with her about three months, and returned to her own house. And these are the words that Joseph spake, saying, Blessed be the God of our fathers and our mothers in Israel, for in an acceptable time thou hast heard me, and in the day of salvation hast thou helped me. For thou saidst, I will preserve, and make thee a covenant of the people, to renew the face of the earth and to cause the desolate places, to be redeemed from the hands of the spoiler. That thou mayest say to the captives, Go ye forth and be free and to them that are in darkness, show yourselves in the light. And they shall feed in the ways of pleasantness, and they shall no more hunt nor worry the creatures which I have made to rejoice before me. They shall not hunger nor thirst any morning, neither shall the heat smite them nor the cold destroy them. And I will make on all my mountains a way for travelers, and my high places shall be exalted. Sing ye heavens, and rejoice thou earth, O ye deserts break forth with song for thou O God dost comfort thy people, and console them, that have suffered wrong. Chapter 2, 10 Joseph begat of Mary the Virgin, his wife Yeshu, who is called the Christ. Curatonium and Lewis is Syriac, and several of the oldest Latin in Matt 1.16, A.V. 
Chapter 2, 21 to 25. The canticle of Joseph here given is very similar to a certain portion of the book of Isaiah, indeed, appears to be taken from it, as John borrowed from the Old Testament prophets. It has been omitted in all other Gospels extant. It is of singular beauty, and appropriate for use at Matins, as Magnificatus for Vesper, the Song of Zacharias finding an equally appropriate place at Nocturnes. End of excerpt. Get your copy today at Amazon.com, Barnes & Nobles and your neighborhood bookstore. In wisdom, peace and love, Reverend Melissa Smith.